हेलो स्टूडेंट एंड टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीजिंग द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द इंटरवल्स इन विच द फॉलोइंग फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स पॉर फोर माइनस फोर एक्स क्यूब माइनस ट्वेल्व एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव इज स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग और स्ट्रिक्टली डिक्रीजिंग सो लेट एस स्टार्ट द सोल्यूशन पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन The given function is a polynomial function. f of x is 3x power 4 minus 4x cube minus 12x square plus 5. Let us differentiate with respect to x. The base of x 12x cube minus 12x square minus 24x. I'm uh, taking out 12x common, then x square minus x minus 2. On further factorization, x minus 2 and x plus 1. Okay. So if The base of x is equal to zero. Then 12x x minus 2 and x plus 1 will be zero. This implies that x is equal to zero. One of the zeros of the base of x is equal to zero, and x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 1. If we draw a sine curve for first derivative. With the three zeros, minus one, zero, and two. The leading coefficient of first derivative is positive. So, in the rightmost interval, the first derivative is positive. Is positive, negative, and positive, negative. This positive, negative, positive, negative. So, we can conclude. The function is increasing in the interval minus one to zero union two to infinity, and decreasing in the interval minus infinity to minus one union zero to two. Okay, the same thing can be concluded by table form interval sine of a base of x and nature of function. Nature of e f. The first interval minus infinity to minus one. Second interval minus one to zero. Third interval zero to two. And fourth interval two to plus infinity. If we take any value within the interval less than minus one, so less than minus one minus two. So first, uh, including plus twelve or twelve plus four x plus four x minus two. Ah, uh, four x actually minus minus two minus one minus two minus four minus and minus two plus one minus one minus. So one, two, three. Overall, less than zero. So what is the nature of the function decreasing? If we take the values between minus one and zero, minus point five, or twelve factor plus your negative point five minus and point five. Negative point five minus two minus negative point five plus one plus. So overall product positive. So increasing between zero and two we can take one or twelve factor plus or x factor one plus one minus two negative 
1 plus 1 2 positive so negative decreasing in the interval 2 to infinity you can take 3 for 12 factors plus and x factor 3 plus and 3 minus 2 1 plus 3 plus 1 4 plus so positive mean increasing therefore f is strictly increasing for all x belongs to the interval minus infinity to increasing minus 1 to 0 union 2 to infinity and it is strictly decreasing for all x belongs to interval minus infinity to minus 1 union 0 to 2 ok this is conclusive step and go through it we will discuss one more question the next question find the intervals in which f of x is equal to 3 by 10 x power 4 minus 4 by 5 x cube minus 3x square plus 36 by 5x plus 11 strictly increasing and strictly decreasing so what is given f of x is another polynomial function 3 by 10 x power 4 minus 4 by 3 x cube minus 3 x square plus 36 by 5 plus 11 ok if we differentiate with respect to x a base of x so 12 by 10 x cube minus 12 by 3 x square minus 6 x plus 36 by 5 this is 36 by 5 x plus 1 ok now we can take and 6 common 6 into 2 by 10 x cube minus and 2 by 3 x square minus x plus 6 by 5 is f days of x and if f days of x equal to 0 then 2 by 10 x cube minus 2 by 3 x square minus x plus 6 by 5 equal to 0 if you multiply through it by 3 into 10 that is 30 6 x cube 30 by 3 10 20 x square minus 30 x plus uh, 30 by 5 5 so 30 ok 30 this 6 by 5 one time Five times six times so thirty six is equal to zero. One second we can simplify and divide by two. This simplifies three x cube minus ten x square minus fifteen x plus twelve equal to zero. 12 equal to 0 
then adding all the coefficient and 3 plus 12 15 and 25 then we have to factorize this just go through it it is requires a few correction on the question look at the second term minus 4 by 5 x cube so this is not 3 4 by 5 so 12 by 5 and ok then 6 is taken out mean and 2 by 10 x cube and 2 by 5 then 2 by 10 2 by 5 minus 6 plus 6 by 5 so now what to do we can multiply throughout by actually this is 1 by 5 so multiply throughout by and 5 x cube minus 2 x square minus 5 x plus 6 equal to 0 so 1 minus 2 minus 5 plus 6 sum of the coefficients 0 mean x minus 1 should be one of the factor so x minus 1 into 0 because of x cube here x square x into x square x cube then minus x square but we need minus 2 x square so one more x square term required so minus x x into x minus x square and minus x square 2 x square now minus 1 into minus x and plus x plus x but we need minus 5x mean minus 6 if we multiply both we can get x cube minus 2x square minus 5x plus 6 on further factorization x minus 1 x minus 3 and x plus 2 equal to 0 and the product is minus 6 the sum of these two is minus 1 ok this this is the factorization of fds of x fds of x equal to 0 the x equal to 1 and 3 and minus 2 so based on this we can split uh, based on the 0 fds of x equal to minus 2 1 and 3 the leading coefficient of first derivative positive mean the rightmost interval positive, positive, negative, positive, negative. So possible interval minus infinity to minus 2, minus 2 to 1, 1 comma 3 and 3 comma infinity. Applying the table works, we can conclude or with the help of this sign conversion of first derivative we can conclude the f is a strictly increasing function for all x belongs to the interval minus 2 to 1 union 3 to infinity and it is strictly decreasing function for all x belongs to the interval minus infinity to minus 2 union 1 2 3 so go through it we will discuss one more similar problem one more a similar question find the intervals in which f of x equal to 3 by 2 x power 4 minus 4 x cube minus 45 x square plus 51 is strictly increasing or decreasing so the function f of x is 3 by 2 x power 4 minus 4 x cube 
minus 45 x square plus 51 on differentiation differentiate with respect to x is first derivative of this of x and 4 into 3 12 by 2 6 x cube minus 12 x square minus 90 x and taking 6 x common and x square minus 2 x and if we take 6 from 90 how many times so 45 so 3 into and 15 in the 2 90 in the 2 so this is 15 15 times 6 is 90 on further factorization 6x the product and 15 and 3 5 the sum minus 2 so x minus 5 and x plus 3 will give the quadratic factor x square minus 2x minus 15 if f base of x equal to 0 then 6x into x minus 5 into x plus 3 equal to 0 this implies x equal to 0 5 and minus 3 then sign of f base of x according to the so, there are three origin of f d s of x equal to 0. If, this, if we treat f d s of x as a polynomial, these three are 0 of the polynomial f d s of x minus 3 and 0 and 5 positive, negative, positive, negative. So, this is sign conversion graph. According to this, we can conclude the possible intervals. minus infinity to minus 3 minus 3 comma 0 0 comma 5 and 5 comma plus infinity so the function f of x is a strictly increasing function for all x belongs to the interval minus 3 to 0 union 5 to infinity and it is a strictly decreasing function for all x belongs to the interval minus infinity to minus 3 uh, union 0 to 5 okay dear student let's go through it we can conclude the same result after doing the table work first column of table interval second column sign of f' of x third column nature of the given function let's go through it so my dear student, I am Murugayan. My humble request, please convey and share my video link Murugayan Subramanian to all 1200 students of your school and other school for their benefit. So to get the quality education at free of cost, please support me and share my video link Murugayan Subramanian to your friends and others in all possible ways. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you once again students.